I don't think people understand what it means to a First Nations community to be able to, uh, to host an elite sports program at the First Nations level. And uh, we, we, we came through with flying colors as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I appreciate the fact that uh, I guess we didn't pan out in the end, but at the same time, uh, I'm not satisfied that we got the right deal in the first place. The community really loved this program. It's on a First Nations Reserve. It gave a lot of, you know, the youth things to strive towards. Gave them places to go on a, on a weekend night, you know, come out and watch the hockey game and stay away from some other extracurriculars. And it's just a great program, meant a lot to the community. And it's going to be a, it's a loss. It's, it's such a loss. From the beginning, the, uh, the introduction of the Blackhawks into the Saskatchewan Midget AAA Hockey League was to provide an opportunity for First Nations boys to play in the league as a team. And uh, I think it's a pretty exciting time, it's, uh, but it does have a note of sadness with it uh, because it is the end of an era, the final game for the Beardies Blackhawks. It's uh, hard to see a small community lose a, a franchise like this and uh, to me there's no explanation. You know, just being around the team has helped me be a better person. Uh, being here has allowed me to uh, work outside of this team in the community with uh, some uh, violence initiatives and, uh, and it's, been, it's been a pleasure. Alright boys, what can Alex and Blackhawks play? Greasy! Work! Greasy! Work! Greasy! Starting lineup! Powerful! Busy! Hey! Dangerous duel! Hey! Dazzling hey! For me, I, uh, I, got, I had a better chance of making it here. From a native background, going into a native organization was really big for me. And uh, you know, I've always wanted to play for this, for a native, uh, for a native team. And I don't know, it's just been my dream to play here. We did a lot of uh, stuff in the dressing room before the game, so traditional sweet grass and, and that kind of stuff. And then the, they would play the drums actually and do uh, singing before the national anthem. So that made it really unique. Like you really felt like you're a part of the culture. And they always wanted anybody who wasn't indigenous to be a part of it too. So yeah, it was really interesting and cool to be a part of. It's so special because I've never uh, experienced uh, being on a team on a reserve before and I loved it. It's a great experience. I wish everyone got the experience to uh, play for a team like that so it's gonna it's sad that it's going away. Uh, being here is really bittersweet. Uh, there's a lot of familiar faces and names like even when they called out the alumni roster I remember growing up watching those guys and it's, on one hand, it's nice to see everyone and see how it brought the communities and everyone together. But at the same time, it's also really sad that the team's not going to exist anymore after this season. No other team would take me in to play and it was just a place I could call home and have 20 other brothers on my team call family. You know, for the area, it's uh, something that uh, it, it means a lot to the First Nation community, right? It, they don't get a whole lot of opportunity to, get, to play a lot of hockey, especially in very rural areas of Saskatchewan. And uh, Beardies pulls a lot of uh, First Nation kids from uh, out north and, and uh, anywhere around the province to come get a chance to play AAA hockey. And it's something that was unique to not only Saskatchewan and the major AAA league, but uh, across Canada, right? And it's sad to see it go. It's definitely going to be a high paced game for sure, knowing that it's both teams' last game of the season, last team as a team. Um, just got to play as brothers and just go out there and really work as hard as we can and hopefully we end up with a good result at the end. It's the best play here, the fans, the support you get. Like when we score a goal, it's crazy in here, like really loud and really fun to play in front of this crowd. I remember we went and played the contacts in the final and, uh, and my own family had a tough time getting in because it was about a three block lineup when we played in the contacts arena because of all the fans that came down from Beardies and uh, we ended up sweeping them and it was great. They all brought out the brooms and it was, uh, they got right into all the emotion of it all and it was great. Dale and them at that time were unreal. They were coaching, they told you, okay, don't just settle for being here. Be the best every time you're on the ice. Well, it was the best years of my life for sure, for hockey-wise. Uh, we went to the Air Canada Cup that year and as a First Nations franchise, that's a pretty big step. Like, uh, it's never happened like in Midget AAA for a franchise to go that far to represent Western Canada as at the national stage. 
Well, it's going to be huge around here. Um, it's really going to take away some spirit from this place and take away a lot of history. A lot of the people around here really idolize the players that we're more friendly with the people around the community and the kids that come from here and it just, it's going to destroy the atmosphere around this place. Oh, any, whenever I talk about uh, the community, uh, the Blackhawks in the community, it's, it's, there's always somebody that has a, has a story or, or a relative or, or some special moment with the Blackhawks. Uh, I wear my jacket outside uh, the community and somebody stops me in the store and says, are you part of the team? And we have a little visit and, and uh, you know, very much a, a well-known, organized, respected, organized, uh, not only in the hockey world, but just with parents and grandparents and past players. I wish it, was, it would continue. I wish it would. It, it's, it's a pain that uh, I've carried for the last uh, two and a half months, three months, and uh, the, hopefully the, uh, the, the teams that have been created out of this, uh, this makeover uh, will look at some of our players with some interest and, uh, and give them the opportunity. That's all we ask for is give us the opportunity. Building bridges between native and non-native communities, uh, that was one of the things that we were able to accomplish. And uh, I think we educated a lot of non-native people about our, our culture. And uh, to me, that's uh, something that uh, I hold dear to my heart and uh, it's something that I'm going to miss.